Hello, all my Scorpios. Welcome to your monthly reading for the month of August. Before we jump in, I always just love to thank the Creator for being here with us and that you're interested in every moment of our lives and experience in our lives right alongside us. And in those moments, not judging us, but giving us unconditional love and guidance whenever we ask for it. So thank you for being here um, and we welcome you. All right, we're going to jump in and what we're going to do, I'm going to start off by um, asking the Creator what, just in general for the month of August, would the Creator like you to know? We're going to pull a card here from the Angels and Ancestors Oracle. And that'll be where we will start. Right, creator for our Scorpios, what do you want them to know about the month of August, please? Okay, right off the bat, yep, got High Priest, which has the eagle there, and uh, intend and create. And it's so funny with the uh, eagle or falcon or whatever kind of bird this is here. What I was thinking of um, as I was shuffling was um, that Scorpios are very transformative. Uh, individuals. They start off as, um, you know, a scorpion, you know, going along the the ground, stinging, 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 stinging. Um, and then they evolve into the snake, um, which I don't think there's a snake in here. Nope. Um, but then it evolves into a snake, which sheds its skin and grows. Um, it can still bite and it can be poisonous, but um, you know, it sheds its skin and it grows and, you know, it still needs to be respected. <clears throat> and then it evolves into an eagle. Um, and so the eagle is able to fly, you know, very high above everything. Um, and so doesn't get involved in a whole lot of altercations like a snake and a scorpion do along the ground. Um, but it still dives down to protect the ones it loves and the things that are important to it, like food and whatever is important to it. And then it's able to fly back above um, to that peaceful place above the storms. Um, then ultimately it transforms into the phoenix. It rises from the ashes and just becomes this very transformative, powerful um, being. Um, so I really feel, you know, that was an important message for you to know that this is the process of your life and your transformation and intend and create. You have the ability to move, you know, um, from different stages of your life with your intentions. So, you know, you don't have to stay the scorpion. You can evolve and move and create those different stages of your life. <clears throat> Let's see what else that card has to mention here for your messages. <clears throat> Excuse me. So it says, recognize that you have the power to change your life, like we were talking about. Face your fear and align with the light. In many traditions, the high priest is the physical embodiment of the divine masculine. He acts as a bridge between worlds and is able not only uh, to divine the future, but help to create it too. He may be a leader in his spiritual tradition or in pagan traditions be second to the high priestess, but he is always spiritually connected and disciplined with great respect for his creator and his particular practice. <clears throat> Excuse me, in a reading, this card can represent a spiritual figure, a leader, or a teacher in your life, or an aspect of your path that has led you to where you are today. And I feel that's more for what this is for August. It's showing you that you're moving into these different phases and that you're the one that uh, makes the choice to evolve into those, you know, different stages. Uh, the extended message is you are a bridge between heaven and earth. And it's important for you to know that you are more powerful and connected than you may think. Everything you are giving attention and energy to at this time is creating your way forward. There have been some setbacks, but accept these as experiences that have led you to a deeper understanding of yourself and your spirit. Know that you are being guided by the ancestors to direct your thoughts and energies towards what you want to grow, heal, and expand, and then watch it happen right before your eyes. 
So I love that, you know, especially at this picture of the, you know, the snake piece of your evolution of your spirit and of your adventure, because, you know, a setback is like, oh, I had to shed my skin. Yeah, but that allows you to grow bigger um, even more so. So, you know, just know that any of those setbacks that you've had have been for you, not happening to you. <clears throat> um, in the other readings, what I do, I, I take a tarot deck in this case this is the fairy tarot cards and i split out the major arcana from the four uh, minor uh, arcana suits and these represent four um, areas of your life or four kind of um, pieces of your beingness um, but for the major arcana we're going to use it like we did for this one where we're going to just ask the creator what in general would they like you to know for the month of august so we'll see if there's any other messages or clarification validation of this message just about intend and create and just know that you have that power it's like the magician card um in the the tarot you have the ability um even has the wand towards the heavens and your hand towards the earth and you're that um conduit of bringing that love energy into this world all right creator so for Scorpios, what else do you want them to know about our August, please? Okay. And you got the Justice card, which is number eight, which is August, right? So you've got Justice. This says, take time to review the details carefully. You will win in the end fair and objective decisions. And justice, um, you know, is also, of course, like the scales. And for me, it's that, you know, you have two here. It's like a mirror. So here's the scales holding the scales, too. Um, and it's about um, understanding that there's two sides of you. You've got your physical being that you're walking upon the earth and you're human experiencing all these wonderful fight or flight uncomfortable emotions you know this limited feeling feeling small um, being able to feel alone all that stuff in the human form which which we don't experience when we're on the other side which is your higher self you know that powerful supernatural eternal spirit being made of unconditional love so um, this is all about balancing your physical world which is you know down below with the upper above so um, I love that the combination of this message is that you are the one that you know brings heaven to earth as above so below but also as below so above and you have this beautiful balance that you can ebb and flow in between the physical world and the spiritual world and not um you know be lopsided in one or the other because you can be so spiritually minded you're no earthly good and um to um you know overly earthly minded where you're don't bear any spiritual fruits and just keep on experiencing this uh, merry-go-round of pain and suffering <laughs> so it's a wonderful um, to be able to see things from this higher viewpoint and you just are able to walk and work and move within the physical realm in a much different way because of it so i love this for you for august <clears throat> all right next we're going to move in here to um the four suits um, the first um, in this deck it does the seasons um, so this says spring in a regular tarot deck this would be wands or like the fire element and so for this reading it's going to represent the spirit side of your journey and your adventure so we'll ask the creator what he wants he or she <laughs> what they would like your spiritual journey to be what they want you to know about your spiritual journey in the month of august okay there we go <laughs> we've got the princess of spring optimistic enthusiastic creative energetic and it's time to go after your dreams do something that expands your horizons let your creativity take flight take flight like the eagle right um and so this would normally be the night of um the Knight of Wands, which is all about action, fire, movement, 
Um, you can see the butterfly there as well. And so it's about your transformation and moving that spiritual transformation that we talked about, moving beyond the scorpion and the snake. And that's kind of where you've been um, spending a lot of time, which is normal. Those are our lower chakras where you've been working on your relationship to the world, your relationship to others, your relationship to yourself. And you're moving into this higher place um, you know, in the middle of the scale where you're balancing off and bringing in a lot of the spiritual energy um, in your evolution, you know, for that, um, for that path that you're on. So um, I love that. And then we're going to also pull a card here from the Path of the Soul Destiny cards. And see what else the Creator wants you to know about your spiritual journey in August. All right, Creator, what else do you want Scorpios to know about their spiritual journey for Augusto? Okay, nope. Okay, that's the one. And you got the number six, and these are fractal images, so she puts these um, all these programming into uh, this formula or these formulas into the system and it generates graphics. She has no idea what they're going to be until it happens. Um, and so, and then she intuitively um, reads it. I call them like the spiritual inkblot test. So you can see what this means for you. Um, and for me, before even reading from her little book, uh, I just see, you know, this is growth, a new growth. This is like a, you know, a plant, a new, a new seedling plant. Um, stem growing there so you're having growth in your life and I feel like this is the game of life and it's like X's and O's but they're all O's right um, and so it's moving and growing beyond the game of life um, which I kind of feel you know means that you're moving beyond this ego you know human game that you're like so caught up in and so focused on winning at that you're um, moving above it and seeing things from a whole different point of view and going um, and that's how you win because all these zeros <laughs> you let the ego go um, or at least the focus on the ego go and become the ego instead all right let me see this six here yep and this is about breakthrough so there's a thin veil which separates us from other dimensions of existence and you're now energetically breaking through this veil you may be experiencing knowings or feelings of other dimensions your consciousness is moving beyond this third dimensional realm embrace the moments of clarity and understand that flow um, and understand that flow with this uh, greater knowing. So embrace the moments of clarity and understanding that flow with this greater knowing. Sorry about that. <laughs> I kind of read that a little weird. So as you break through the veil, you're in a closer contact with your guides and other divine beings who are here to aid you on your journey. So perfect for your spiritual journey um, because with this transformation, it, um, it's that you're opening up to a greater communication with the Creator, Spirit, Holy Spirit, depending on your faith, you know, your angels and guardian angels and spirit guides and your ancestors and loved ones who've gone on the other side. There's this large, of course, mass of beings of unconditional love and light on the other side who are so willing to support you and they're eager for you to reach out with that balance here, um, with that connection too. So, um, excellent, excellent. So great things happening in your spiritual side. Um, I kind of feel... Um, how, you know, like you might be asking, well, how do I do that? How do I connect? You know, when we're focused on our, the game, um, it's so noisy because it's so fear-based and we're afraid and we're trying to make everything and control everything. There's so much energy invested in the supposed tos and the shoulds and the need tos and the have tos that it's so noisy with all those voices in your head, it's hard for you to hear. The other side now they always hear us because they are able to cut through all the noise but for us to he hear them and interact with them at a more uh, clear level um, it's about doing things to lower the fear noise and raise the vibration of love you know joy peace laughter within you so getting away from things consciously you know breathing 
if it's meditating, if it's doing artwork or going for a walk, anything that gets you away from the noise in your life allows you to hear the whispers of love uh, more deeply. So in case you were asking that, that is for you. Um, next we move on to the autumn. Autumn is normally the pentacles in the regular deck, which is the earth element, earth energy. And since this was, a, we just talked about the spirit, this is about your external world. So the physicalness of this planet, um, including your physical body. So let's ask the creator what they want Scorpios to know about their physical journey. Creator, what do you want Scorpius to know about their physical adventure in the month of August? Okay, like that is a Z1. And you got the five of autumn. Um, and that's reach out to others for assistance, poor timing for a career change feeling challenged by money issues. So the Five of Pentacles is normally being in need um, and feeling like you don't have anywhere to turn. What I love about this though, in this deck especially, it's showing that they're coming to someone that is offering them help and assistance. And um, it's normally a church in um, the regular deck. It shows like people that are kind of devastated and feeling uh, they have nowhere to turn their life walking through snow barefooted and injured and all this kind of stuff but behind them there's like this stained glass which shows that um there is support you know and that is represent not representative of like the organized religion per se but of the higher realms that you have all this support on the other side because really all our abundance comes from the creator and everyone else is just the middleman that's delivering it. They're the shipping company. So, you know, this is um, just reinforcement for you to know that there is assistance available both for your spiritual, um, you know, journey, but also for your physical journey. So don't be afraid to ask because um, we, of course, before we come down here, ask you know we're going to be born here and we're going to you know leave the planet here and here's what i would like to learn in between you know in between the dash right and um so they're like okay that's what you want and then we come down here and they start unfolding events that we want to experience but while we're here you can still ask for that connection and that assistance on a daily basis we have free will and they won't mess with our free will but if you ask them and invite them into your life saying, you know, please, you know, bring me what's from my highest experience today, what will give me my highest vibration of love and clarity. Um, and I invite you to do that in my life. And I, I, I always call it, I invite them to meddle in my life, M-E-D-D-L-E, -E. you know, come on, meddle in my life. So um, just know that that is um, uh, available to you um, and especially in the month of August, uh, they really want you to focus on that because that's going to help balance out um, your life. All right, and then we're going to pull a card here from the Native Spiritual Oracle deck. And we'll see what additional meshes the creator has for the physical world. Physical adventure. Right, Crater, what else for Scorpios for their physical environment, physical adventure, their physical journey? Can make it really obvious for us if you would. So all these cards are wanting to fly out for you today. <laughs> That's the one there. And you got the Spirit Keeper of the East. I love that. All those crops and growth there. Beautiful. And we'll see what message comes with the Spirit Keeper. Whoops. Of the East. 
So this talks about new beginnings. <laughs> a fresh cycle is occurring in your life. So wipe the slate clean. It's now time to release the old and start again. No matter what has happened in the past, it doesn't need to repeat in the future. Um, your native spirit wants you to know that in native traditions, the directions are honored, you know, the four directions. It's believed that every direction has an associated spirit that can be called upon. In the great cycle of life, the east is the place of the rising sun. It's also associated with planting seeds in the springtime, birth of the waxing, I'm sorry, birth, the waxing moon, and new beginnings. So pulling this card means that this is the close of one cycle and the beginning of another, right? Although it's often difficult to release familiar routines, situations, or relationships when they no longer empower you, your native spirit asks that you not cling to the old, but set sail into new waters. Face your fear and allow yourself to stretch in a due direction. Wonderful opportunities will be born in your life. So I love that, you know, because it's a message about really expanding and moving into this you know, from the snake um, experience into the eagle experience. It's this, it's like you're leaving the ground and you're moving up into the, the wind, um, into the air. So that's a different uh, whole experience for you. Um, and like the butterfly too, you know, it moves from the caterpillar um, into the cocoon and then into the butterfly that flies above. It's a wholly new creature. Um, and these cards come with a journey, which if this resonates with you, feel free to do that. It says, stand and be still. Breathe and center yourself. Then slowly turn in a circle. Close your eyes and feel the energy of each direction. There's a difference in the feeling in each direction. And then stand facing east as the sun rises to sense the unique energy of that direction. So beautiful. I think this is going to be a very transformative August for you, at least the beginning. Um, so don't be afraid because um, you are ready for it. You know, you're tired of being that snake moving along the ground. You're ready to fly. So no fear, no fear. Let me just move these in a little bit here. Next, we're moving into winter, which is normally the swords in the regular tarot, and that's the element of air. And this is going to represent your mind, your mindsets, your beliefs, um, your thoughts. <laughs> he used to say your mental state, but you know, we're going to call it your mental adventure instead. So for Scorpio's creator, what do you want them to know about their mental adventure in August? What do you want them to know what's going to be going on in their minds, their thoughts, their beliefs? You got the three of winter, which the three of swords, um, you can see she's holding them in her hand there. U usually it's a heart with three swords stuck in it, which represents heartache, um, or um, for me, it means expectations. So it says, reach out to others for comfort and love. You will grow stronger from this situation. A sadness that will heal with time. And it's really that last line that um, is representative of this. And this is the expectations that you had before. Um, and that's the shedding that you're going to be doing because, you know, this is like the kind of the same colors of this justice is you're balancing and understanding that can my heart be broken? Um, one of the wonderful things that I was just reading about is, you know, we come to this planet to understand what um, worthiness is by experiencing unworthiness. Because on the other side, we don't even know what worthiness is because everyone is. So we don't even realize that there is unworthiness. And that's why when we come here, we are able to understand more about ourselves by uh, experiencing the unworthiness. And that's where this balance is coming in with this justice card. You know, all these pain and suffering and, and feeling unworthy and feeling not good enough and all those things. It's really just opening up your 
ability to understand what your true worth is um, when you realize you know this higher being that you really are and as you connect more to the spiritual side the reality because this is the illusion on the earth this is just the dream this is the make-believe it's this isn't the this is temporary and short term whereas when we go back to the other side that's the eternal being we are and we grasp everything we learned about being small um, and being in pain um, and having anger and all those other fear-based emotions um, because we experience those here all these disappointments with these expectations we understand more fully who we really are because these expectations were ta taught look out here for your worth and for your wholeness um, you know who you're with what you're doing and what you own um, and then you know people change or pass away situations never stay the same and things break deteriorate you know are stolen or you know burned down or burn up and so all those things are temporary um, and disappoint us and unstable so that's what we experience here with all those expectations and um, all that uh, drive to have those things fulfill us disappointment 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 everywhere everywhere and that turns us back inward where we find the only thing that's stable that we can define ourselves by which is who we really are you know and the unconditional love of the creator of all things right so i love that for you here we're also going to pull a card from the numerology guidance cards and see what else the creator would like you to know Right, Critter, what else do you want Scorpius to know about their mental adventure in August, please? Okay. We got domestic harmony, and that's number 46, which four plus six is a ten, which is new begin which is ending, and then one plus zero is a new beginning. So endings and new beginnings when it comes into your domestic harmony, which makes total sense. You know, we have this mindset of you know this is the domesticated us the human it's like this is how it's supposed to happen and how do we find domestic harmony and that is about letting go of these expectations because um i always have this example like you come across you and we're going to use a relationship for an, as an example so you meet someone or um trying to meet them at all you just bump into them you have zero expectations right and you're like oh my god they're the most amazing person i've ever met in my entire life so here's them way up here you know um and your expectations are way down here so all this is abundance and wow and then um you, you start hanging around with them and you need like maybe even start to date right and so your expectations go higher and higher well now that we're you know dating this is what you're supposed to be exclusively dating you know engaged married you know all these expectations and they never changed they were always up here but um, they became less awesome and then almost disappointing at some point because of all these expectations so the domestic harmony comes in and letting these expectations go seeing people for um who they are not who they aren't and celebrating those the individuality i was <laughs> writing a card whenever i attend a wedding you know never forget why you fell in love and try to keep your expectations at zero as much as possible that equals happiness <laughs> all right and let's read from the book two here on what the number 46 brings for you so it indicates a time of healing your relationships and your home. This may re uh, relate to a troubled relationship with a child, a family member, an ex or current partner, house guest or roommate. It could even relate to problems you have had with the actual house itself. Either way, this card has been sent to advise you that your difficulties are being resolved and domestic happiness is within your reach. 
This card can indicate a time to make a commitment to your present relationship by declaring your love and desire to take things to the next level. It can also reveal a need to commit to your present residence by extending your lease, deciding not to sell, or making the necessary improvements to turn it into your perfect home. Regardless, this card is encouraging you to make a commitment rather than walking away. Um, and I really love what I'm hearing is this commitment to go to the next level is what this is really um, trying to emphasize. And remember, there's no such thing as the perfect relationship, family, or home. Domestic harmony can only be achieved with effort, compassion, and compromise. By improving your relationships and your home, you'll improve your quality of life. The affirmation for this card is, I have happy, harmonious relationships within my happy, harmonious home. <laughs> so, um, and I definitely... When your mind is clear and um, it's not in, you're not under pressure and feeling confined, you know, by all these expectations, you have harmony on the inside. So you feel the harmony on the outside because how your thoughts and beliefs are is what you're seeing the world through. So it's really um, a wonderful message about harmony is found within uh, clearing out these. Uh, or understanding your beliefs about things and seeing things from a higher perspective. All right, and then lastly, we move into summer, which is the water um, in the water element in cups in the regular tarot. And so this will represent your emotional adventure in the month of August. So Creator, what do you want Scorpius to know about their emotional journey? You know, your water signs, so you're used to swimming in these very, um, I was going to say volatile waters of emotions on this planet. <laughs> that might be a bit extreme, but it does feel a bit extreme at times. Here we go. Yep, and you got the five of summer, which is the five of cups. Again, beautiful butterfly transformation there. So trust that there is a reason for everything that happens. Remove yourself from the negative emotions of others, focusing on that which frightens, um, frightens or worries you. Um, and um, what I love about this card, besides it's just a beautiful butterfly, just like all this transformation, is that it coincides with expectations. Because um, in one of my favorite um, decks, the Light Sears Tarot, it shows someone with this, um, they're sitting there with four cups spilled over um, and it's going into this like black hole on the ground um, and it's just seeping in there and it's still not filling it up but um, right next to or almost behind her a little bit is the another cup which i consider the ace of cups which is the unconditional love you know the the real thing that fulfills us so um you know, this represents those emotions and those feelings of disappointments, feeling empty, you know, and again, focusing on that, which frightens or worries us, um, and that's not fulfilling us. Um, and so, you know, I feel like your emotional adventure in accordance with this is as you're, uh, like the beginning of the month, I, I really feel like you just become so sick and tired of feeling sick and tired that you're ready for this leap and that's what kind of sparks this journey that you're going to have um igniting in august you're just like you know what all these things that were supposed to make me happy work relationships friendships uh, possessions and all this stuff it's not doing it for me and i'm ready for the new you know the that whole um you know ending of things and new beginnings you're ready for that Right, and then lastly, we're going to pull a card here from the Fairies Oracle deck. And that will be your final card for this reading. And it will also be what the creator wants you to know about your emotional journey in August. All right, creator, what else do you want Scorpius to know? Okay, there we go. Yep, rise above problems. So it's just like the eagle we talked about in the beginning. So it's so fitting, you know, gonna rise um, like the eagle 
um, above these um, emotions, you know, these thoughts, these feelings of being, um, you know, alone and in need. These are all the things that you're going to be dealing with. Um, at the beginning that just spark you, you know, you're tired of feeling like you don't have enough. You're tired of thinking that you're not enough and other people aren't enough. And you're tired of feeling like nothing's going to fulfill you. Um, and this whole experience, um, you know, transforming to this eagle allows you to balance out your life and rise above the problems. Um, like we were talking about with the butterfly, the eagle. Um, and so I love, I love, I love this for you. So, you know, just know that you are ready for this. If you're sick and tired of being sick and tired, this is the answer here. Connect to your higher self, your spiritual side, seek that. Um, and it will just transform your entire life. You become a beautiful butterfly and a powerful eagle as well. <laughs> so just know as you go throughout August that you are unconditionally loved every second by the creator of all things, the mother and father of all things. And I love you too. Have a fantastic August. We'll talk to you soon. Take care.